Hello everybody, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5 and check it out. We finally have a good replacement for the Hydra in GTA 5. This is the Aviate-B Harrier 2 jump jet uh, that was released by, you guessed it, Skyline GTR Freak. And uh, it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I just played with it a little bit and uh, the modeling on this thing is fantastic. So, I, I mean, well, let's say fantastic over and over and again. <laughs> Anyway, happy uh, Saturday to everybody. Hope you had a great start to the weekend so far. Hope you had a good Friday night. I did. Had a good time. Did some uh, OCRP purge last night. That's on the uh, 5 and Live channel. That, uh, that was a good time. That really was. Uh, but check this thing out. It is absolutely awesome to have a Harrier finally in GTA 5. I know uh, a lot of you um, that love the Hydra are probably a fan of the Harrier. The Harrier kind of holds a special place in my heart. I think this is, is going to fire up, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Which it doesn't have a terrible sound. I believe it's the uh, the normal um, Hydra sound. Here, let's go ahead and turn off the engine real fast. Because we're going to go through the liveries and all that. Uh, but I wanted to say that uh, the Harrier is... Oh, look at this interior. It's just ridiculously good. Um, it holds a special place in my heart because uh, I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, obviously. Um, and we would see these things all the time. Uh, being tested there um, and uh, went to the air shows and saw them perform. They, they are just such an, an amazing, uh, amazing piece of machinery. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the liveries before we do anything else. Um, and we will also check out and see if there's any special doors there might be hiding in here. So we have the WE Marines here, Black Sheep, VMA 214. You've got the uh, WP. That looks really nice. I've always loved that look. The gray with the the white or the off kind of eggshell white nose cone on it. Then you have this one here. Um, another Marines paint there. And those are the three we have to choose from. I'm going to go with this one. This one is what I've seen uh, growing up. I've always loved the look of this one. It's fantastic. Let's look at the, um, the doors and windows menu. What do we got here? Open all the vehicle doors. Okay, so it's just that. That's okay. That's to be expected. Oh, wait, no. Looks like that was a fuel boom I saw that popped up. Wasn't that? Let's see which one opens that. Let's see if it's the hood. The trunk. Uh, is it the door? A front door? Okay, that's that. Open right. Okay, right front door opens up the little fuel boom. See that? That's really cool. Okay, pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and uh, fire this thing up. We need to go to the second page. Turn it on. Uh, before I do that, let me turn down the sound in GTA so it doesn't blow my eardrums out. All right, and we'll go engine on. Oh, yeah, and she roars to life just like that. I love uh, the VTOL in GTA 5. It pushes the foliage around and stuff. So let's add a little bit of power here and get it off the ground. Look at that. That didn't take much. Just a little squeeze of the right trigger and we're up here. You see it blowing the uh, grass around and stuff like that. That looks amazing. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is that, uh, well, you can't turn the landing light on because that'll, you know, make the uh, thrust vectors go behind you and you'll just fall to the ground. That's annoying. The, uh, the camera keeps snapping back over and over again. Uh, so if I bring it down, I wanted to show you. I, I wish the, uh, the front strut and the nose gear there uh, was animated, but it's not. It doesn't have any compression to it. So if I come all the way down like this, you'll see. It just stays the same. It has that, that compression right there, but on the real Harrier, when you add power and you lift off, that thing really extends. So just a small little nitpick, nothing nothing too major. We'll just use that left uh, bumper to move that around. Flies very nice. Uh, this is an add-on airplane. It's not a replacement of the Hydra or anything like that, but um, I'm certain it has its own handling line because of that reason. So as you can see, we're just kind of getting a feel for it. Back and forth, back and forth. A little bit of forward. Doesn't take much to get it moving forward. That thing looks amazing. It really does. Looks really good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and bring our uh, gear up. And that brings the flaps up as well. Now, you would probably have your flaps down if you were in this configuration in the real airplane. But it's a little bit different. We're going to add our power here. And now we're going to go left. Or, sorry, right on that, and it transitions right into it. Drops like a rock there at first. 
and now we're in forward motion flying with the Harrier. We'll check out the weapon systems in a minute. First of all, we're just going to fly this thing around and get used to it. It's pretty badass, though. It is really, really an amazing sight to see this in GTA 5. Especially after the hype of the Hydra, you know? Always love that thing. So, we're getting up to some speed here. Look, we're almost at 200 miles per hour. And in GTA 5, that's pretty fast. Let's be honest. All right, we're going to go down here. Let's do some uh, low-level flying down by the rocks. That'll be a good time. Look at this, 225 miles per hour. So, it's fast. It is bad fast. And just pulling back on the elevator like that, the thing just really bled off speed. All right, inside view here. And a little bit of motion blur happening here, but that's okay. We're going really fast. And let's go fly down by the rocks here. It's got a nice handling line to it. It's uh, it's very responsive. It's it's pretty sensitive, so you have to be real easy on the on the uh, joystick here. God, GTA 5, such a beautiful game. It really is. Flying real low to the rocks. It's such a good time. Low level flying in general is always a good time. And you can really see the speed this thing has as we cruise over the rocks. It's taking it easy. I do anything too crazy here. All right. I haven't tried inverted flight in this model yet, so we're going to do that here in a little bit. But I wanted to do a little bit of low level flying first. Get real close to the ground. You get a real sense of speed in this thing when you're doing this. There's the little ski doos down there. Little jet skis. Alright, so we're at full speed here. And it doesn't seem like it's going too crazy. So, flat and level down at mean sea level, we're doing about 170 miles per hour, it looks like. That's going to be its max speed. When we were in that dive, we were getting in that 200s. So it's not crazy fast straight and level down at uh, sea level. All right, let's go ahead and go a little to the right here. And we're going to just pull back on the stick once we get lined up here. And we're gonna go vertical and we'll see uh, how high we can get without losing too much speed in this airplane. Here we go. Straight up. And we're bleeding off speed pretty rapidly right here. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the Immelman here. We're back at 120 there at the top. So, not terribly bad. It was about, what, uh, the third line on the minimap? It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good climb for being as quick as it is. All right, let's check out the systems here. We've got our missiles, homing missiles here. We've got cannon. So, we have a gun, main gun here. And then we have, okay, so just those two. Homing missiles. And the other one. So, what's really cool about the uh, Harrier, and we're gonna do that here now. We're gonna go ahead and transition this thing. And whenever you transition like that, push forward on the left stick, big time, big time. All right, now we're getting into a, a nice slowed down. Yeah, cause see how it wants to just bring that nose up like crazy, and then left trigger, just kind of squeezing it here. And as you can see, the left trigger is mapped to the uh, flaps there. I'm noticing. But now that we're in a, a hover, for the most part here, you have a lot more control over your targets that you want to try to hit. Let's bring it down a few more notches here without killing the engines. That's what we don't want to do. So let's bring the nose up, let it do its thing. It's going to bleed off our speed. And you can see right there, we're just coming into a hover. That's what this thing's all about. And you can just see how deadly this airplane is and uh, the rolls. Uh, that it plays it can uh it can really 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 make somebody's day bad <laughs> now i don't think we're gonna be able to just lock on to just a random car so we don't have a police presence here but we'll uh try the main cannon here for a second which you're gonna get a lot of forward speed on but it, it's it's manage more manageable than most of the jets in gta 5 so that makes it way better as you can see there all right, now we have police on us. That's what we wanted. All right, so we're going to wait for a cop to get nearby. And we can flip around here. 
the cool thing about the Harrier and being VTOL the way it is, is that it is such a versatile jet. It's basically a jet and a helicopter all in one here. All right, Adam Five, bring it on, man. Uh, let's go ahead and just shoot a random missile here. Might hit something in the process. Oh, got one right here. Right down there. And they're toast. I'm tr waiting for a helicopter to come along. Really, you're going to come after a Harrier? That's probably not the smartest thing, guys. Got them all. <laughs> You know what this reminds me of? True Lies, the movie. All right, so they're getting pissed off at us a little bit here. Flip it back around this way. Oh, that sounds terrible. People just burning alive. Okay, we got a helicopter now. So here he is. We'll move around because they love to try to ram you for whatever reason. Here we go. Okay, you're a little bitch, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Okay, well that just took him out immediately. That was amazing. All right, so now that we have them after us, we can outrun them by uh, just, you know, flicking the right switch. So we're just gonna bring our nose forward. We wanna get a little bit of forward momentum, especially over this mountain here, and then click it. And then there, it's transitioning now into, back into a, a fighter jet. And as you can see, we're coming into life now again. So let's see what it's like at fast attack. Especially with a, a helicopter. Yeah, we will engage. I have to go guns on this one. Guns, guns, guns. Where'd you go, man? Behind us already? Okay. One of my pet peeves of GTA 5 is these police helicopters, man. They go as fast as any of the jets in the game, and they can turn on a dime. And they just try to ram you is what it feels like sometimes. All right, let's go back to homing missiles here. Where'd you guys go? Over there on the left now. Oh, that was a beauty. She's a beauty. She's one in a million girls. One in a million girls. All right, she's dead. Okay, so as you can see, pretty amazing. Let's go ahead and get rid of the cops. Don't need them anymore. Go. Let's just uh, see what the airplane's all about. Let's go ahead and uh, try some inverted flight on this thing. So bring up the nose and roll it over. Seems like it flies pretty good. It The nose doesn't want to drop too much on it, doesn't seem. I believe the squiggles there in the cockpit you're noticing right there is part of the, uh, the windshield heat. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty, pretty sure that's what that is, if you're wondering. over the Zancudo Valley. All right. Now let's try landing this like a normal jet here, actually. Let's, uh, we'll make a left down one for the runway. Um, and the reason why is because with the Harrier, you can land like a normal jet, like you really can. Um, but you can also obviously land it uh, vertical as it should be. All right, so that's taking a little bit. So I'm gonna go put the gear down. And that's gonna put some drag out. As you can see here, we're losing some airspeed now. Let that nose come down a little bit more and we're gonna start our left base, the final. And we're in a normal flight profile here right now. We are not in VTOL. If you're wondering what I'm saying when I say VTOL, I'm talking about vertical takeoff and landing. So we're not in that. We're gonna see what this thing flies like as far as like float when we kill the engines. So I'm gonna start squeezing the left trigger down a little bit more so we're bleeding some more airspeed off. That 82 miles per hour, that's pretty slow. That's pretty good for a, uh, for a jet in GTA 5. Now let's go ahead and kill it. Make sure it doesn't fall like a rock. It falls like a rock. Okay, so it has absolutely no ground effect. Granted, it is a uh, airplane like the Hydra and the Hydra is kind of the same way. You can't really land it that way. Um, let's go ahead and fix this thing because it's pretty much destroyed now. <laughs> Pretty much destroyed. And uh, we'll do a VTOL landing on this thing. Um, go ahead and take it off. Full power. 
It's right off the ground like that. And we're going to get some speed here and transition the jet. You'll see how it just really throws that nose up. And then it wants to dive. Obviously, that makes sense why it would do that. All right, so let's go from a full flight profile like this to a VTOL, and we're going to land on the helipad. Let's do that this time around. And so I'm going to go ahead and just let go of the right trigger. So landing the airplane like a normal plane, not going to happen, which is fine. I mean, a lot of you guys aren't going to try to do that anyway. So there's nothing wrong with that. All right. So what we need to do now is we're going to put it, this thing into a VTOL thing. So there we go. You see the nose rising up. I'm just pressing it over, pushing it over, letting that airspeed bleed off. Here's going to come down, have even more drag. And now we can fly it kind of like a helicopter, which is in GTA, it's not the best as far as the, uh, the rudder. The rudder isn't very good. It's very herky jerky if you will, but you can just use the right stick or sorry, the left stick like I'm doing right now. And it behaves the same way for the most part. All right. So remember, we're kind of flying like a helicopter now Add that power. So we don't get too low here. If we want to let this thing bleed off all the speed, we'll bring that nose up. It's just like a helicopter. You want to, you want to get to uh, the closest speed to zero you can for a hover, but you don't want to go into the negatives which is going to bring you backwards. All right, so we're going to go a little bit more left here. I'm going to look down like this, try to get a good profile of where we're at. And then nose come down. Letting the whole airplane come down. There we go. Add power. All right, and we go to the outside view on the final moments of the landing here for you. I know a lot of people don't like uh, inside view. So I try to do both in these mod showcases. But this is just absolutely bitching to have a Harrier in GTA 5 finally. All right, so once it's here, I'm just not touching anything but the left stick here. So I keep it in, in, in its place. And it should just naturally come on down on its own, but I don't know if it will. A helicopter normally will, but this doesn't look like it does. So we might have to squeeze that left trigger a little bit more. There we go. Get it down into this right here. And we're down. So, yeah, flies pretty damn close to how you would expect the Hydra to fly. Keep that in mind. All right, so let's go back up in the air. Make a little bit more havoc before we uh, we do anything else. Let's go out to the uh, aircraft carrier, actually. Gear up, bring this up. I do want to wait for that sun to come down as well so we can see what the night lighting's like. You'll see these little strips that are on the side of the airplane. You're seeing them right now in the back. You see how they're green? Those are formation lights, so they can fly at night in formation. It's a fun little fact. And the sun is going down, and we'll be doing a night landing uh, on the carrier. Now, I know a lot of you guys like to use Visual 5 or any kind of um, additional graphics mods. And the biggest thing we have, and which I always try to show in these mod cases, are the inside view, the cockpit, and what the... Uh, the instruments are like at night because sometimes they're extremely bright, you know? The thing gets up and goes, man. Look at that. We're at 202. I mean, we're not even really... That's kind of interesting. So we're doing 200 and 206, 205 up at altitude, but when we're down by the by the ground, we, we only do about 170 or so. Pretty awesome. This is, we're right over the area where the uh, the first trailer that had the Hydra in it for GTA 5 was filmed. Right over here. This thing's pretty nimble, man. It does move around quite a bit. You wouldn't think it would, but it really does. All right, where is this guy at? Do we even have the aircraft carrier? I mean, it's always here always out here, but it doesn't seem like it's here today. Interesting. It would be out here on our left. I really don't see it. That is strange. Maybe I have to enable it or something in the trainer. 
which is kind of strange because I normally don't have to do that. I don't know why it's not here. Oh, well, I'll go uh, look into that. All right. I had to go in and uh, enable the, uh, the heists MP maps. So we have the aircraft carriers behind us there. We're going to come back around and we're going to do a landing on the aircraft carrier here in the evening time, which will be awesome. There's the carrier right out there. That's strange. I used to not have to do that, but uh, I guess this version of GTA 5 you do. Because we haven't used the aircraft carrier in a while, actually. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this thing in. Not into a hover mode yet, but what I'm going to do this time is put the gear down. Let's run a left downwind. When we turn base, we go to final. Once we get closer to the ship and we're splitting off that airspeed, we're going to transition into a VTOL configuration here. I think that's uh, that's going to be how they want you to fly this airplane for the most part. Now, I don't know if you've ever looked it up, but you should look up a Harrier jump jet takeoff off of a carrier. They're called jump jets for a reason, but there's these little ramps they fly up. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right, so we're getting closer to the carrier now. The deck. Call the ball. Roger ball. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go into VTOL here. Add that power. Let the nose do its thing. All right, looking good here. And now we're in a much better position for this thing as we get closer. Just like this. And we're almost down. Let the, I'm just going to let it go into its natural profile like that. And let it come down. And there you go. So that's really all there is to it as far as landing this thing. It does have a working landing light, but keep in mind the landing light is slave to the VTOL. You can see the little side vector things there. All right. So we're going to take off again. This time what we're going to do is we're going to go um, go like this straight off. We're going to get some speed, and then we're going to hit the VTOL. So it's kind of replicate a jump jet takeoff here. There's the forward catapult hit. And then they would just be like, bam, it hit it. And then up it would go like that. Gear up. And now we're going to transition it. Man, it really, really loves to throw that nose up on you. I've got to say, though, even with the Visual 5, the, um, the interior is not extremely bright. Like, even those gauges on the left, you would think those would be really, really, really crazy. Right? But they're not. I'm really, really happy to see that. So, is our formation lights? Uh, I'm not sure if that's attached to the landing light or not. Let's see. It is. Okay. So, in VTOL mode, you're kind of screwed, it looks like. Nope. You just click it twice. That's how you're going to be able to do it. So if you want your uh, landing light, you're going to have to click it twice. Kind of go through the, you know, that VTOL thing. But that turns on the formation lights. Look at that at night. That looks freaking amazing. That's badass, man. Let's do a four-point roll. Bring up the nose a little bit here. And get another shot of it. One, two, three, and four. Not too shabby. It turns on a dime, though. Oh, don't mind that. That's those, uh... The graphics drivers have not been good lately with that mod of the, uh... The City Lights mod. I might have to switch to the light mode. Okay. So, let's see how fast we can get into... Sandy Shores. Oh, there's police lights all over the place down here. Look at this. All right, so we're going to go into transition this. Gear down. It's already transitioning. Lead off speed. Left. All the way around this way. Forward. Add that power forward. All right, so it's hard to bleed off a lot of that forward momentum you had going. Which is all right. 
So you see how we don't have a landing light? If we click it twice, we should be okay. It's gonna be scary though. So we're gonna go click, click, like that. And now we have a landing light. And it's kind of pointed downward too. That's cool. Add power, soften the blow. There we go. All right, fantastic. Okay, so that's not terrible. We can get used to that after a while. You can, you can. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the uh, mod showcase of the AVAP Carrier 2 Jump Jet VTOL airplane, whatever you want to call it. It has so many different names um, and different, uh, different models of it, too. You see this one has the long nose, and the Royal Air Force has a different looking one than uh, what we operate here in the U.S., Anywho, that's going to do it. I will see you guys next time. Take care.